I just caught my first glimpse, everybody. Oh, look at these little babies. <laughs> That's fantastic. Already basking. Oh, there are lots of them in here. They're all over the vivarium. Hi. <laughs> I wonder how many there are. They look so calm. Just chilling. Well, mm -hmm. I guess the opposite of chilling. They're heating themselves. They're heating they're into the, Yeah. The UV lamp and the basking lamp there. All right. Well, I apologize for the video quality of that first clip. I just grabbed my phone and went for it without a microphone or anything. Um, right here on this uh, piece of cork bark, you can see there are two individuals. One is tiny, was had or was born in October, not hatched, of course. And this other one was is a neonate. And then underneath, you can see there are quite a few there, and there are a lot more in the uh, enclosure. So now it's time to dig in and find them. Going to remove the decor. Some of it needs a wash. That piece definitely does. Going to help me locate the snakes a lot more easily. You can see a recent shed in there. I'm also going to remove most of the leaf litter just to make it easier to find everybody. And a lot of them in this corner over here. I just lifted up the, the pot of the lemon button fern and there were lots of them. Most of them have already scattered. Still have no real estimates of how many have been born. And Here's the left rear corner. Lots of them around there, too. There's a couple of them climbing up in the, the branches back here, the curly willow branches. <laughs> oh, there's another one. All right, here is the hopefully final tally. We're not sure because it's often the case that one or two uh, is able to hide and we find it later. But we're at 28. And the largest snake right there is tiny from the fall clutch. But everybody else in here is one of the 28 apparently healthy babies. We had one that didn't make it out of the sack that we found. All of these made it. So congratulations to Ruby on a very successful litter or clutter. And if you're on the wait list for some of Ruby's babies this year, you've probably already received an email from me so that we can kick the adoption process into gear. Past litters have been very healthy, and I expect this one to thrive as well. As usual, I'll start them on a mix of minced earthworms and pinkies, which isn't very fun to make, but it is quite nutritious and apparently delicious as far as these little shoelaces are concerned. This species starts out on the small side, even for garter snakes, but they can grow pretty quickly. I wanted to thank my patrons for your support. It really does help us more than I can express. You'll see a list of my patrons at the end of this video, and if you'd like to join our Patreon team, check out the link that I'll put at the end of the video or in the description. And thanks for watching. I post videos every Friday with live streams once a week as well, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.